a really good uh, race uh, tonight. You've been very, very consistent, uh, you know, after Paris. That must be encouraging for you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, quite literally overnight, I became the Olympic champion. Um, and so I think these three races were a test that I haven't had in this sport before. And so I'm really happy with how I've uh, managed that. Um, because outside of the the mental and uh, physical fatigue of the Olympics and that high and everything that comes with that, um, there's external pressures that you know you, I do myself I do the best job um, at limiting those and you know I'm pretty good at it uh, right now, but it's still uh, pretty much impossible to ignore. And even if you don't see anything, I know that there's expectation on me and. Um, I have a lot of expectation on myself, and so uh, it would have been easy to say I just had the season of my life, the best race I could ever ask for at the Olympics and call it a season, um, but uh, I made the decision to stick with it and optimize this this moment in my life because I know how, how valuable this is, uh, and I'm only going to be in this window once in my life, um, you know, of course, hopefully. I get to get the chance to defend this um, in four years, but it's such a unique time in my life. I almost wanted to keep keep it alive, keep the season alive, even though it was really hard. You mentioned talking about the pressure that comes with the title. I think in Rome, you said that it was like a strange uh, feeling for you to hear yourself pronounce as the Olympic champion. Yeah, absolutely. Like again, it's it's. The way I'm looking at it is it's a completely new stress um, on me and, and a different, the sport feels different even though obviously it's, it's the same thing and I have all the trust in myself that I'm going to execute on the day but it feels different. From a Spanish perspective, we, we all miss my friend Mario Garcia Romo. Do you think he's coming back again next season in a very, very good place? Do you feel confident about him or not? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, Mario is just, everyone knows how good he is if you're a true track fan. And, um, you don't get fourth place at, at Worlds um, on a coincidence like he did in Eugene. So uh, I have no doubt that he'll, he'll get back to it. And uh, This sport is so hard, and you see everyone um, everyone has different seasons, and everyone goes through ebbs and flows, and you just try your best as an athlete to manage those. And, you know, you compare it to my 2022 season where – so he got fourth place at Worlds, and um, I didn't make the U.S. team uh, because of injury and, and a rough season. So just two years difference, I'm the Olympic champion. So the sky's the limit as long as you just believe in the process and trust in what you're doing. And what is your your next dream? Because now you have achieved the most in, in athletics and sports. Yeah, I think the dream is just... I think I find it in winning, and, and there's always something else to win. I wanted to win today really bad. Um, I think Diamond League champion is an amazing title and a really cool one. So I did everything I could today, but you know I want to be the world champion next year. And the way these the 1500s gone, it's been a while since someone's repeated back-to-back -back years. So that's the immediate next goal. There's a lot of steps that have to come before that. Just making the U.S. team alone is such a feat um, in itself. I think. Ever, the world saw that this year. Our third guy, Hobbs Kessler, is fifth in the world. And so you have to be the fifth best in the world to make the U.S. 1500 team. And it's pretty incredible. But the goals don't stop. You know, I believe a world record is uh, in my career somewhere along the way. Um, yeah, I have so many goals still. How do you feel today with Hicham El Guerrero here in situ? We've been seeing the competition regarding you. How do you feel about Hicham? I, yeah, I didn't know he was here. That's that's pretty amazing. Uh, I was just watching the you know the meet record with him and Lagat, and he ran 326.1. And I was I just watched that race because I I've never been to the stadium, and I wanted to kind of be aware of what was possible and what's happened in this stadium and yeah I mean, it goes without saying but just the legend of the sport yeah.